Hi and welcome to the next tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to create a very simple logo. Now this logo was created in Illustrator and it's pretty much just made up of three different triangles with a little bit of text. Here are some other examples of different types of uh, logos using those same triangles we were created. So I'll show you how to actually make this. First thing is we want to start a new document and we want to make sure that it's a square. So we'll do, you know, 1000 by 1000 pixels <clears throat> and we'll start with our blank page. We are then going to grab the star tool and we're just going to draw out a triangle. Now, if your star looks like this, you need to hold the mouse button down and press down on your keyboard until it turns into a triangle. Now I'm also holding shift to make sure that the triangle is also straight. So once I have my triangle, um, I want to change a few of these settings. I want to make sure that it has no fill and I want to make sure that the stroke has a stroke of 40. So once I have one triangle, I then can duplicate this triangle to start to create the rest of the shape. So to duplicate, I would hold down Alt and I can move my triangle across and I can do the same for the other side. So now I have three different triangles. Okay. Now, if your alignment is not, you know, 100% correct, you can go and have a look at some of your align tools. And if you click on some of them, for example, this one, which is um, horizontal distribution, all right, it will distribute those triangles perfectly horizontally. So you can play around with some of those settings. But anyways, <clears throat> the next thing that you need to do is you need to open up your Pathfinder uh, settings. And so that's in Window Pathfinder if you, it's not over here. Now, there are different commands in Pathfinder. You can click Unite, which will uh, bring all the shapes together. You can click Minus Front, which will take away from the shapes. But then you also have things down here, which is Divide, Trim, and Merge. Okay, so for this actual logo I clicked on unite and it's pretty much as simple as that now it's joined those shapes together and I've now created you know a really really simple mountainous logo now there are other things that we can do in here also if you didn't want to do it using the pathfinder tools there is another tool which is called the shape builder tool now the shape builder tool will allow you to join shapes together just by hovering over it so for example if i wanted to create a logo like that using the shape builder tool that's also cool if you wanted to take away shapes you would need to hold alt and then drag as well and then that will delete shapes so there's another way of doing the exact same thing so shape builder and now you can create you know really different kinds of looks if that's something that you wanted now you're not limited to using this technique with just triangles you know you can use triangles to create uh, this mountain kind of look you can use uh, a rounded rectangle to create you know different kinds of effects you can also use you know polygons to create you know weird and strange shapes but the whole the premise of this is to be able to use the Pathfinder tool to create these um, different kinds of looks. Anyways, guys, I hope you learned something and thanks for watching. See you next time.